What is up, guys? It is Power Bank coming to you live with another Brawl Stars episode. Guys, I'm over on PlayBrawlStars.com right now. It's the Brawl Stars official wiki uh, for this game, and it's got all of the brawlers listed, ranked out in a number of different categories. So if you guys are wondering who is good, who is not so good, um, who is like really good at a certain game mode, all of that is listed here. But today we're honing in on the overall brawler rankings. This is kind of a tier list of how easy they are to use, what their range their power accuracy how how well they move around all of that stuff but right now this site has one brawler ranked above all of the rest the number one guy mortis 7.75 overall ranking that puts him at number one but I want to see if that's actually the case so in today's video uh, we will actually go check that out uh, what was it yesterday I did a brawl box opening video and I unlocked Mortis, and it just so happens that I've maxed him out. So we're going to see some maxed Mortis gameplay in this episode. We've got a variety of different uh, game modes to try him on. We've got Bounty, Smash and Grab, and Showdown. We'll do a, a battle on each of them, see how it goes, and uh, if Mortis really is the king of the hill. All right, so as I said, I did a Brawl Box opening. 200 Brawl Boxes opened yesterday in hopes of getting a legendary card. I was trying to get Spike or Crow. One of those two, like, I would have been great with. Both of them I would have been ecstatic with. Spike is probably my favorite overall character. And as you can see at the bottom there, still no legendaries to be found. So let's go into, uh... Let's go do a bounty first. Let's go into Brawl. We'll select Mortis, go into a gameplay here. I'm playing with randoms, guys, so it's kind of hard. We're going up against a Colt, a Poco, and an El Primo, it looks like, on the other side. But the cool thing about Mortis is I can literally go steal uh, that star and kind of dash around. I am in trouble, so I'm gonna just dash out of the way. Uh, we've got that initial star, and looking for an El Primo. There he is. We'll bounce in and out, hit him a couple times. There's a Colt. And we'll hit all of them with that heal, and he can just kind of out like a thief in the night. So, looking to try to uh, take out a, a character here, and there it is, and now we got to get out of the way. Woo! That was insane. So, being chased, you can kind of evade, uh, you know, capture pretty quickly by using that dash ability. Uh, both offensively and defensively. You see Poco's getting low there. That's kind of who I'm keying in on. No, Colt is 96 HP. He did get the heal, um, but I don't know that it's going to be enough. He is down. We're going to get Poco as well. Good God, this guy is good. Uh, I got to back up. I'm going to die. I knew it. I just saw my HP, 134. I shouldn't have gone in there. Uh, so I, I fed a little bit, gave him some stars, but gee, many Christmas. This guy is really, really fun to play. Um, definitely one of my favorite overall characters. So you can kind of dash around um, offensively, defensively, and you can see I'm pushing the middle here. I'm kind of hiding in the bushes. Uh, the element of surprise is kind of what you want. There it is, taking out almost, almost everybody. And... Oh no, oh no, oh no. All right, so we got the score almost even. We're up to 11 to 12 right now. I have a feeling I'm going to have to clutch this one out to try to take the uh, the ending here. 11 to 12, 49 seconds left, and we just had somebody die. Oh, there's the, oh, there's the whole team. There's the whole team. All right, so we got a Poco. Okay, so this is where I'm just going to kind of uh, play it cool. I'm going to go into the middle and wait. Colt knows where I'm at. El Primo knows where I'm at. We're going to put some pressure on Colt here, and Colt is down. You can see when he throws those bats for a super, it actually does a heal. Um, as well as a, a pretty good amount of damage. I want to say it's like 250 damage um, in addition to healing him up 250. Uh, we're going to put some pressure on El Primo, and he has taken out... Uh, I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. He tries to use his super. He's chasing me. Uh, one point game currently, and it is all about staying out of combat right now. And no! The other guy died at the last second. Why you gotta feed, son? Why you gotta feed? So we have no uh, no victor in this particular battle, but I think it's apparent, guys, as you can see on the screen, star player Mortis. Uh, the rankings aren't lying right now. Mortis is dominant right now on Bounty. That is pretty incredible, guys. So let's go to the next game mode and see if he's just as successful with, like, a smash and grab and then maybe we'll wrap up with showdown because 
showdown's a little different man all you see in showdown are those high hit point like really tanky characters el primo is really good on showdown bull is really good on showdown uh nita with her bear is really good on showdown so those are like the uh 10 person free for all try to like be the last person standing so you see a lot of uh you know primo bull nita uh, on the on the showdown map, and you, you can actually go to the uh, playbrawlstars.com, and it ranks all of the characters in each game mode to see uh, who who you would want to select. All right, so as you can see, I've got 13 out of the 15 brawlers unlocked. Again, the legendaries giving me a hard time. We're gonna go with the epic Mortis here. Uh, I do believe that the epics though in this game you've got bow as well as mortis right now The epics seem to be the best cards out there I believe bow is the second highest rated brawler overall according to playbrawlstars.com and You know, I don't know if that's the right. I, I mean watch how quickly I can get to the middle though. Look at this I go secure They've got a mortis on the other side. So this should be interesting So I've gotten both of the uh, the gems early and they have a poco so they definitely have the advantage um, because they can heal up the Mortis. That is, uh, oh, there's a Poco! Oh, I didn't quite get him, dude. Didn't quite get him. Down to 2 HP. Are you freaking serious? So I'm running away, going back to spawn. We've given them control of mid, um, which is not good. Poco is chasing me right now, which is, is great for me. And there's the bats. We got a couple of hits in. I'm going to go to the middle, try to secure that gem and get out. And that's kind of the, the key is you hover near mid, wait for those gem spawns, and then try to get in there. You can see the mortis on the other side is doing the exact same thing. So unfortunately, uh, we do have some pressure being exerted here by Poco. He's getting a little aggressive, which is actually good for us. Um, but, you know, it's... it's Okay, so here he is uh, getting low-ish. He is down, and Brock is also under serious pressure. Uh, Brock is down as well. So good, good attack here. Uh, we do have a Mortis in the middle. He is also down, going after his gems, putting some pressure on Poco, and getting out like a thief in the night. So watch this, going to the other side of the map. Ready? Ready? 10, 9, 8. Uh-oh, there's Mortis. So he's got to try to catch me. I've got all 10 gems for my team. Mortis, single-handedly, solo, taking the cake here. Booyah! So all 10 gems are taken by Power Bang. Uh, all the kills done by Power Bang. Who's the star player, baby? Vertigo. Vertigo's the star player. Obviously. Obviously, this is like the Clash of Clans' uh, most heroic attack, ladies and gentlemen. I am convinced now, after that performance right there, getting all of the key kills, getting all of the gems on the team, and not getting the star player. So, hey, it's all good. Morris again shining through. We've been able to win two games in a row. Well, actually, actually, we didn't win the first game, did we? We got that draw. Uh, but again, Mortis really showing that he is super, super good. And that was going up against the Mortis on the other side. Imagine if they didn't have somebody to kind of dash in and grab the gems away from me. There's literally nothing the other team can do uh, to try. I mean, they can just basically bomb the center of the map with like Dynamikes and Barleys and stuff and just hope that they can take out Mortis. But he's literally so quick. He gets in there, grabs the gem, you dash in, dash out, and that's kind of how you play Mortis. So when you go in... Uh, two swipes basically if you're tapping or you can tap if you're using the joystick It all depends on which control mode you use. I personally use the tapping method uh, Method I know like chief Pat and stuff who we'll probably see on the channel here in the next couple of days um, He prefers the joystick hands down. So uh, you know, it's all personal preference there pretty cool stuff We have showdown. Let's go in right now. It's brawl time, baby Let's select mortis and see if we can come out with a free-for-all victory on showdown here I don't know if it's gonna be possible guys I don't, I don't know if, if Mortis is good at Showdown, but let's watch. I have a feeling uh, somebody's going to be going for these two Brawl Boxes from the top. They've, er, Brawl Boxes. The, uh, they, they've got to be going up there. So I'm going to go check first. Uh, you can see, did you see all that ruffling? Yeah, I knew it. So here's Primo. Boom. So I got some hits in on him, and I'm going to get another hit on him, and another hit on him. And another hit on him, and goodbye! Okay, so there we go. We got the initial kill that we needed to clear out our zone. But I don't know if we're close enough to get these boxes taken out. I think Primo may have done us a solid and uh, done enough damage to them here to get them... Uh, uh, 
I'm gonna get one power up. I'm gonna try to get the other one. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it in time. I need one more hit on it. There it is, okay. So we have three power-ups now in Showdown. There's six brawlers left. I'm actually in a decent spot here, guys. Decent spot, it's all about like how I catch these people off guard if they see me first. And so I'm kind of trying to work my way in. I see somebody to the right here. So I'm just kind of showing in this bush, seeing if anybody comes my direction. Uh, here is an El Primo. That is really not a 1v1 fight that we want to have at this point because he's got so much HP. He's chilling in those bushes right there. So there's four brawlers left. I'm going to go to the center here and uh, see what I can make happen. Just kind of going one bush at a time. Uh, okay, so here is the Primo. Uh, let's see if he can get into a fight. Okay, perfect. So there is a Jesse over here. Wanted to catch her out of combat, and yes, we can. Let's avoid her Scrappy. Let's let that Scrappy actually do work on somebody else. I saw somebody with eight power-ups down below. An El Primo, dude, that is not good. So. Here is the fight that we've been waiting for. We want that that dude with eight to be weakened. Uh, so here it is. Oh no, I got caught on the... Uh... Oh no, oh no. So we're going to get out of dodge. You know what I can do? I can evade um, and try... I just used my, uh, my super though. This is actually not good. Let's go up by that and try to... Oh, this is so stressful, guys. No, how did he hit me through the wall and around the corner? How did he hit me through the wall and around the corner? Okay, this is not good. El Primo has superior range. Oh, so we got second. Second overall, we ran into an unfortunate tanky El Primo with eight power-ups. So whoever was on the other side of that map, Y'all got wrecked by El Primo. He basically did work, took out everybody. But hey, guys, rank two on the first showdown of the day. Not super bad at all. Six trophies to go on top of what we already had and a whole lot of coins there as well. Uh, so, you know, overall assessment, guys, I would say I'm pretty freaking happy with how Mortis is right now. Um, definitely looking through my list of characters. Let's see here. Jesse, Nita, Mortis and Bo are probably the strongest characters overall, I would say, and Primo's got to be up there as well. I'm just not personally a huge El Primo fan. I don't know what it is about. It's just a slapping and, and whatnot. So anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think. Do you have a Mortis uh, unlocked? And if so, do you think he's crazy strong? Uh, if you don't have Mortis unlocked, does this video like make you want to get him? I mean, to me, he's insane. Like, after playing that and really just kind of zipping in and out, uh, Gem Grab specifically is super fun with Mortis because you can play super aggressive and really disorient the other team, or you can kind of uh, play territorially and take over that center gem mine, and really there's nothing else that they can do about it. So, guys, that's all I've got for this episode. Like the video if you would. I've got so many guides for this game coming soon. I'm literally working on rendering out seven of them as we speak. Going to have all of the common brawlers coming to you in just a day or two's time. Uh, that is all I have for this episode. Stay tuned this weekend for some Clash of Clans. We've got some major wars going on in WHF. Uh, but that's all I've got for now, guys. This is Power Bang signing out. Till next time, peace.